Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Took a little break for the summer, but I'm back and we're going to start a new kind of a tutorial series on this object oriented design and development with the Raspberry Pi pickup. So I'm going to start kind of from the basics because some of my older videos, I kind of went over things a little too quick, I think. So instead of going too quick, we're going to start slow so that uh, it is somewhat easier for people who are starting out uh, new here. So again, uh, my name is Jitsen Gupta, and uh, this is going to be a tutorial on object-oriented design with Python and the Raspberry Pi Pico. So first of all, uh, this Raspberry Pi Pico, when you get it as a kit, it will obviously come with the microcontroller, which is this guy over here. Uh, it will come with some sort of breadboard uh, so that you can, um, you know, attach components to it and work with it. Um, it'll come with a whole bunch of kits, you know, um, hardware, LEDs, buttons, and stuff like that. We're going to be working on those most uh, likely as we go along. But let's take a look at the breadboard. That is, of course, the most important part. And putting in this microcontroller in the breadboard could be a little nerve wracking at first. In order to snap this microcontroller into the board, you kind of have to put a little bit of a pressure. Just make sure that you have both sides kind of parallel. So typically it's going to come unattached like this. And uh, this Freenove kit comes with this pry tool, which is nice because uh, that definitely makes it easier to take it off and back on because one thing that you will need to make sure is that as you're putting this in, you do not bend any of the pins. Now, the way I recommend putting this in is putting it at the end of the breadboard. Uh, there are numbers on the breadboard that you can use or even better if your uh, kit comes with these stickers. That's very nice because you can just put those stickers right in between the ground bus and um, voltage bus. We're going to be talking about that in a little bit, but uh, there's just enough space for those stickers to go on. And it's got numbers that match up with exactly what those pins are for. So what you want to do is put it line up so that it goes to about the third pin from both sides. So there's two visible holes for each pin, so you can you know, connect uh, at least two wires if necessary. And then you just have to push it down very gently, but eventually it will go all the way in so the pins are not visible from either side. Look at that. So there is no pins visible under that black bar, and that's how you want it. Once you do that, what I like to do is I take a couple of small wires and connect pin 39, which is the second pin from the top, connect that one to this red line over here, these set of holes, any of these set of holes. And the next one, which is the ground pin, the third pin from the top, and I put that one, connect that with a, another small wire to this blue line. What that does is it makes this entire red line a voltage source for plus five volts and this entire blue line of basically a ground source. And if your kit comes with these um, power supply, you can snap that in on the other side. That would make this side also a voltage source and a ground source. So that makes it very convenient. And by the way, this particular uh, voltage uh, adapter that came with the kit actually has uh, selectors for five volts or um, three volts. Obviously this side is only going to be five volts because it's connected directly to pin 39, which gives you five volts uh, in this line. So you wanna keep the selector to five volts on this side. On this end, you can choose either five volts or three volts, whether or not you're going to connect accessories that needs five volts or three volts. We're gonna talk more about those uh, in a little bit. But the first thing what we're gonna do right now is we're going to install MicroPython 
into this Raspberry Pi Pickle Kit. So what we're going to do is we will uh, hold this white button down. And while holding it down, we're going to plug the micro USB cable in and right away release it. The rest of it we're going to do on Tawny and let's see what that would look like. Okay, so now we are in Tawny and uh, we are going to install MicroPython on this kit. Basically with the latest version of Tawny, it is super simple. You just click on this right uh, bottom corner and you see right there, there is install MicroPython. Really simple, you click on that and um, under volumes RP2540, it'll let you select what kind of MicroPython you need. We have Raspberry Pi 2, um, so it's right there, and we have the Pico 2W. So we're going to select that. If you have something else, you can pick from one of these. And we're going to pick Pico 2W and click on Install, and that will take a few seconds. And once that says it's done, we're going to click on close. And now when I go over here, instead of install MicroPython, I see these two options that say MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico. And we click on that. And we are connected. And the system says this is uh, MicroPython version 125 on 2025 415. And that's, we're running it on a Raspberry Pi Pico 2W with RP2350, which is the microcontroller that we were using. Okay, so let's wrap up this video with some very basic tests and we will start doing more involved things uh, going forward. So today, what we're gonna do is just download a set of libraries. And this is a library that I put together. These are all object-oriented classes whole bunch of them. We don't need all of them, but we we're going to go uh, slowly through the different classes that we will need. Today, what we're going to try to do is try to see if we can turn on this built-in LED um, on and off and try to blink it and so forth. So what we're going to do is download these this library. You can just find it in GitHub called Pico Library and then either fork it or download it. Just download it as a zip file. And we're going to download that, expand that. And then what we could do is we could open that folder in Tawny. So in Tawny, uh, if you don't see this view, you could just go to View and Files. And that will toggle the view. And once in Files, you go to the Downloads folder and go to the Pico Library dash main that we downloaded it in. And for today, we're only gonna need two files, uh, one called log and one called lights. And what we do is select both of them and click on upload to slash. And there you go, both files are in. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna try to keep this in the center so you can kind of see what's happening. Uh, what we're gonna do is we will say, um, Let's just start from a clear screen. We're gonna say from lights import star. That way we import everything that's in the light module. Um, we're gonna create a new instance of a light and light is a class. And as we go forward, gonna be talking about classes and methods and so forth. So essentially the way you use it is you create an instance of a class that Im implements something like a light or a light strip or a display. We're gonna be talking about all of these as we go forward. But today we only need to turn this little built-in LED on and off. So what we need to do is we'll say my light, that's the, uh, the instance of the light object. And the light object takes two parameters. One is the pin where this light is connected. And today, since we are using the built-in light, we're just gonna say LED and we give it a name. Uh, let's say we call it built 
in LED. And notice that it responds with the light constructor. So that's essentially the, the response from the constructor. Now, to turn it on, super simple, we just say mylight.on. And that's how you send a message to an instance. So now let's watch what happens when I uh, hit enter. And you notice that the light came on. Maybe hard to see, but... Uh, right underneath that USB connector. Now I'm going to turn it off. And you will notice that the light went off. Uh, let's try to do one more thing. Uh, let's try to blink this light. So we'll, we will call blink. And if you notice, if you go into, these are all open source. So you'll see that blink actually takes two parameters. It takes a delay parameter and the number of times you want to blink. So let's say I want to blink it 20 times with a half second delay. So we'll say 0 0.5, that's half second, then we will do it 20 times. And those are the two parameters, delay and times. Okay, so let's hit return and watch the light blink. And you can see that the light is blinking and each time it blinks on the screen, we see exactly what is going on. And this is gonna do it 20 times and then it would stop. So that is essentially how you get started with the Raspberry Pi Pico. We just learned how to use an object to turn on and off a light and blink it a number of times. We're gonna talk more about object-oriented design as we go through this tutorial session. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this, uh, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.